All right. It's just uh, KU6300, Samsung 4K HDR TV. Just trying to record my my settings here. So I get the settings right. There we go. Settings I use for game mode. Well, you know what's actually crazy is when you're on the uh, PlayStation main screen, like right here, it goes, this, this settings is what I use. But then when you go into game mode, or into the game, I mean, and the game switches to HDR, there's a different settings for that too. So just, you know, FYI, because it changes. So I'm going to show you right here in a minute. Let me click on the game here real quick. Let's go into, let's try FIFA. Yeah, let's try FIFA. All right, once it starts, <clears throat> it's going to flash. When it flashes, that's when it switches it to HDR. And you're going to see that the settings have changed. See, it just flashed. Comes back. Nice in HDR mode. And with this one, you see that the settings have changed. Let's see here. See, 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 so I changed. Remember, brightness was 60. So, hey, grab the controller real quick and show you what I mean. See, if we go back to the home screen. Just gotta keep that in mind when you when you guys are setting up your TV. That is two different settings for the home screen. See this is the home screen. Watch the settings change. There's a different setting for the home screen. See? See that? Oh, because I still I guess I got the game on. Uh, if I turn the game off, it's gonna switch. Alright, watch it. Turn the game off. Come back to the game again. Just remember, remember brightness is 45. Just remember, just remember, watch. Because it's in HDR mode right now. So I got to turn the game off so I can come off of it. So close game. All right, watch. Back to game. See that in the main menu. See that? It's like a different setting when the HDR turns on. So Cause it took me a while to try to figure out like, why, why, why is like the games like, you know, it's not, it doesn't stay in the same setting that I said it for. I was wondering why it kept resetting, but that's, that's the real reason why. And in terms of like setting up the actual PS4 to match the TV. Actually got to go in here. Oops. There we go. Settings. Go to sound. I'll put. You should use a twenty-one sixty RGB. All these things are automatic. And see the output right here. It shows RGB, right? All right, RGB. It says HDR supported. I right, watch what happens when you turn H, uh, HDR on. Let's see what happens here real quick. Let's turn the HDR. You gotta turn the game on for that to happen. Go back to the game. Yeah, it took me a while to figure this out. It's like, man, what's going on? And another thing too is, you gotta remember like, I don't know if you guys are, because you guys are with like HDMI cables. Like the current standard right now is 2.0. So this TV has 2.0 ports. The PS4 has the PS4 Pro. It also has 2.0 ports, like 2.0A. And the maximum bandwidth it can shoot out is 18 gigab gigabits. So the new standard is supposed to be coming out later on this year. It's supposed to be 2.1. It's supposed to be able to kick out like 48 gigabits of content, you know, from the source, like your TV, your cable box, all the way, um, 
or you you know inter- you know from the TV to either you're shooting from the the cable box to the TV. You don't have enough cables to be able to really like shoot 4K per se on the P- on the PS4. So I'm gonna show you right here. Watch. So we got HDR on, right? Okay, HDR is on. Let's go back to the main menu. Watch this. You go over here. You go over here. Some setting. And then output. See right there? And you go to video information. And watch the changes. See that? Why you why why you V four two two? Because a lot of people always like wonder like that is selected RGB. How come it doesn't stay in RGB? The only reason why that's really happened is because of the bandwidth of the the HDMI cables I have right now. The maximum, even the premium cables, the maximum they can push out, you know, out of two point is eighteen gigabits. So with four K content and HDR mixed together. You're not going to be able to show RGB full color, 60 frames per second, 4K through that cable. So that's not happening. And it doesn't really matter. Like if you get a 2.1 cable, like a built-in cable, it doesn't change anything because the PS4 Pro, the port, the actual HDMI port, its standard is 2.0. So you can only push out so much content onto that cable for the cable to be able to transmit to your TV. So up until the PS5 comes out or the Xbox X2 or whatever they're gonna call it comes out, you know this is the max. Every time you get into HDR mode, it'll downgrade from RGB to YUV422. I know it's all like technical jargon, but I just feel I make it because I'm seeing like a whole lot of confusion about you know HDR and what appears like a PS4 settings and everything. So I just figured I just make a little short video about it. So if you want to set it up, just set it like this. Just go over there. If you have a 4K TV, just set it up to the maximum there. And everything else is automatic and just let the PS4 do the work. Also, make sure you get one of those cables that's, you know, like I said, the the premium cables, HDMI cables. You know, so for maximum output. But like I said, it's never going to show at 2160 RGB 4K plus HDR. That's not happening. Every time it goes into HDR mode, it'll downgrade it to YUV422. All right, man. Talk to you guys later.